Vikings officially re-signing center Garrett Bradbury. All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lepica Show. I'm One Bar. Vikings have their center, and it's the same one we've had for the last four years. Vikings re-signing Garrett Bradbury. We're going to be talking about that. Before we get into that, remember, subscribe to the channel, like the videos, hit that sub button, help us get to 10,000 subs. We're talking Vikings every damn day, multiple times. Garrett Bradbury re-signing. I'm trying to figure out how to feel about this one just based off of I didn't really know if this was going to happen. In fact, I was starting to think it wasn't going to happen. I was just waiting to see Garrett Bradbury signs with whoever for this much, but damn it, he is back. And I got to be honest, the deal they got him back on, I'm uh, pretty surprised. Three years, 15.75 million. That is not overly expensive. So let's talk about it. Garrett Bradbury, ups and downs, no doubt about it, 27 years old. So this will bring him through. He'll be 30 years old. And you know what? Maybe he'll retire a Viking. Maybe he will retire a Viking. Adam Thielen won't, but Garrett Bradbury might. So uh, Vikings are going to bring back the exact same offensive line from last year. Exact. Exact. And I think I'm in the minority on this one where I'm actually really not that unhappy with our offensive line play. In fact, I think it's actually pretty good. We got two tackles we know are damn, damn good. Darius is only going to get better. Ezra, Ed, we know that there's some issues there once in a while. Ezra's going to be a free agent next year, but I think he is still a very good guard. Hopefully Ed Ingram improves. And obviously, the man of the hour, Garrett Bradbury, is coming off his best year as a pro. So, at our new beautiful blocking tight end of the mix, offensive line gets a little bit better. We keep the continuity. Comments, let me know. But let's talk about this more. So, Garrett Bradbury uh, coming in, $15.75 million, three years. Again, a steal because is Garrett Bradbury a top 10 center? No, he's not. I mean, and he probably never will be. See, top 15 center in the league, probably. I mean, that's where you're really starting to get where Garrett Bradbury is going to land. Uh, obviously, the big concern is was last year, flash in the pan. I mean, just because he had his best year didn't mean he was playing at an all-pro level. It just means he was better than he has been. And he was good. It's fair to say Garrett Bradbury had a good year. If he can continue that at this price tag, we got an all-out steal. If he ends up just coming in, and we see the same old gross Garrett Bradbury, it's 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 at a good price. I mean, I'm, I'm banking on him being just fine. That's my expectations for Bradbury. Be just fine at a very good price tag. This also eliminates any thought of a draft pick early for center. John Michael Schmitz, dream, dead. Joe Tippman, dream, dead. Luke Whipler, dream, dead. Uh, so freeing up more uh, more options for the draft, and it's fine. It's fine with that. Who the hell wanted to spend a draft pick on a setter? Would have been cool to get John Michael Schmitz in round three? Absolutely. But this frees up needs that we're going to be looking at most likely on the defensive side of the ball. So when all is said and done, Garrett Bradbury coming back, again, the price is the big deal. If we would have brought Garrett Bradbury back or paying him 8 to $11 million a year, I would be on here right now probably crying, even though it is only 105 Central Standard Time. I'd probably have a beer in my hand because that sounds horrible. Got him cheap as hell. I give this signing a great grade. Uh, Quasi, he's not afraid to take chances. And this is a this is a big swing. He takes his big swing on Jalen Rager. Is that going to pan out? Sure the hell doesn't look like it. Marcus Davenport, injury prone, a lot of talent. Big swing. We'll see how this one turns out. And now he's taking a swing on Garrett Bradbury, being the Garrett Bradbury for the next three years that we just saw. The other side of this is, it's kind of nice, not nice. It's kind of it's refreshing to know that they brought him back. They want him. They don't want a lot of the other Vikings from the other regime. So they see something in Bradbury where hopefully they can make him improve and they actually think he's damn good. There you have it. Garrett Bradbury's back. Let me know comments below. Just let let us have it. Do you hate it? Do you love it? Remember, price. Price.